So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can record high quality recordings on your computer using a software called OBS. Now, if you're making videos, you know, you can of course record directly into your uh, memory card through your camera, but that brings a lot of hassles because you need to upload to your computer and all that stuff, right? Wouldn't it be way easier if you could just record directly to your computer's hard drive and be able to edit like that or be able to send it to your editors. Well, OBS actually makes that possible and this took me a long time to figure out, but you can actually record really high quality videos uh, directly to your computer. And that's exactly how I'm recording this video right now. So I'll show you guys how to do this. First up, you're gonna want to download OBS Studio. Uh, it's completely free, it's an open source software and I'll leave a link down below, but it's basically just obsproject.com. You'll select whichever operating system you're using. I'm using so I would click on this. From there on, you're gonna need a few pieces of hardware that are crucial. And the first one is going to be the Elgato Camlink 4K. You know, I've tried some of the knockoff uh, brands and they are just not good, right? So I'm just telling you guys, if you wanna save time, just buy the best one. This is the one that everyone uses and there's a reason for it. You'll of course need a camera. So the one that I'm currently using is the Sony a7 III. Pretty much any DSLR is going to look great. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. You'll also need a microphone. So the one that I'm currently using Using is the short SM7B. This one's pretty overkill for most people. You guys can probably just use a standard microphone that connects via USB and that's going to make your life a lot easier. But if you want the best, best quality uh, recordings, you're going to use something like the short SM7B mic. You'll pair it with something like the Focusrite Scarlett. So this is what I use to record my audio. But like I said, not required. And if you want to actually be able to control things in OBS really easily, I recommend getting a Stream Deck. I personally use this and it's really cool. I can, you know, record by pressing a button on it as well as change the camera and whatever I'm showing on the video. But enough of that stuff. I'm going to show you guys how you can get your settings right in OBS to be able to record high quality video. This is what my OBS uh, looks like. And basically we're going to come down here to settings and you're going to come here to output uh, and you're going to choose the advanced output mode, right? So simple is just going to be like this, but we're going to do that advanced one. Then you're going to come down here to recording. If you guys are trying to play with these settings for your streaming quality, then you would come here, but we are talking about recording to the disc. So I'll click on on this, uh, you're gonna actually select standard. You're going to choose your recording path. So I have this actually recording directly into an SSD drive and I have a folder in there called OBS. So it basically just looks like this. Everything is recorded directly to that drive. For your recording format, I choose to go with MP4. Now you guys can also choose to go with something like .mov or .flv. So I'm currently recording uh, into the MP4 format. I like to use this one because it's easier to work with and it's really high quality. The only bad thing about this is that if you lose power and, and the recording doesn't finalize, then the whole file is gonna be corrupt. If you're scared about that, you guys, then come here and you can choose something like MOV. For the encoder, there are going to be multiple options and this really depends on what computer you're using. If you have a computer with an NVIDIA graphics card, there's gonna be something called, I think, NVENC. Uh, that's a really good one to use if you have that option and I recommend that. If you are using an M1 or M2 chip Mac, then you're going to actually want to choose the VTH264 hardware encoder. This actually like saved my life because I was using X264 before and it was super Super slow but this is way 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 better but if you don't have that option go with x264 this you're going to leave unchecked and then here is where you actually play with the bitrate and this is the part that makes your recording really really high quality i don't know what the standard one is but i have mine actually bumped all the way to 60,000 kilobytes per second now what you choose here is going to depend on what resolution you're filming in. So I'm doing everything in 4K. So I'd recommend something between, you know, 50, 60, even 70,000 uh, kbps. If you guys are doing like 1080p, then you can do something like 25, 30K. 35k. Well, I recommend is just play around with it, you guys, and see what looks good because the higher this bit rate is, the larger space the files are going to take. And yeah, this takes a lot of space and you just need to make sure you have enough storage space on your drive. I have the keyframe interval set at one and I have the use B frames checked. I don't really know what these are, but I found it didn't really make a difference. After that, you're going to come to audio and you're going to choose your track one audio bitrate. So mine's at 160. Actually, all these are at 160. And I find that, you know, 128 is the minimum I would probably use. 160 is pretty good quality. And then you can even go higher if you want. But 160 seems to be good. After doing all that stuff, you're going to come here and click apply. And that's going to lock in those settings. Now, in terms of the video and audio settings, you'll want to make sure that you choose, uh, you know, what you want to record in. If you want the highest quality possible, of course, you're going to do pr probably something like 4K. So 3840 by 2160 that's going to be both your base 
canvas resolution as well as your output scale resolution. For the downscale filter, I choose this one. And then in terms of the uh, frames per second, I choose to record at 30 frames per second. Here, all these things are gonna be basically default. I think I have this at 48 kilohertz and that seems to be great. But yeah, you're gonna click apply once you make any changes and you're gonna click okay to exit out of this. From there on, uh, your scene, this is my main camera scene and I have the Sony and I have the Shure microphone. So those are my two properties. If you wanna click on this and click properties, it's going to allow you to select the device. So you click cam link 4k and the resolution of course is 3840 by 2160 and you'll click OK. From here you can actually you know drag this to see you know if you want it to be full screen if you want it to be partial screen if you even want to record you know the desktop plus the camera and click this. I don't know if I have the setup actually or it might not be working because I'm recording the screen but yeah you can choose and create different scenes and add the sources into each of those scenes. But yeah that's basically how I record really really high quality footage directly to my computer. Um, um, this is one that I recorded already. I'll show you guys. And you can see like the quality is really good. Very similar to uh, how it comes out of the uh, SD card from directly from the camera. But of course, you know, this is not going to be as good as directly from the camera, but very, very, very similar. And yeah, after hours of playing around, these were the settings I used and found to be the best. So yeah, that's basically how you record high quality video uh, through OBS. And I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Uh, on this channel, we're going to be creating a ton of how-to guides just like this. So be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when we drop those uh, videos. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.